this is part 35 of blazor tutorial in this video we'll discuss form validation in blazor for example on our edit employee form we want to make both first and last name fields required and if an invalid email address is provided we want to report that as a validation error there are two simple steps to implement model validation in blazor first decorate the model class with the validation attributes if we take a look at our edit employee form the model class for this form is employee and within this class we've got several properties like first name last name email etc we want to make both first name and last name properties required so both of them are decorated with the required validation attribute we also want to enforce minimum length validation on first name so we are using the min length validation attribute as well in addition to the required attribute and the first name should contain at least two characters so we are passing a value of two as the parameter and then the email property is decorated with the email address validation attribute all these validation attributes are present in this namespace system dot component model dot data annotations if we take a look at our models project this is the project that contains all our model classes department employee etc and this project has a dependency on this nuget package system.componentmodel.annotations this is the assembly that contains this namespace system.componentmodel.data annotations and this namespace contains all these validation attributes required min length email address etc so this is our first step decorate the model class properties with the validation attributes our second step is to attach validation support to our edit employee form to keep it simple i've included just one input field here first name field and as you can see this field is bound to the first name property on our employee object and for this form employee class is the model class and within this class we have already seen the first name property is decorated with the required attribute now we need to attach validation support to this form and for that all we need to do is include this built-in component data annotations validator as the name implies this component attaches data annotations validation support to this edit employee form next we need to display the validation error message if we did not supply a value for the first name input field we want to display the validation error message first name is required next to this input field for that we use this built-in component validation message and to this we pass a lambda in this case employee dot first name and this lambda specifies that this validation message component is going to display the validation message for the first name property in the interest of time i've already included these two components on our edit employee form notice we have the data annotations validator component here and the validation message component for first name next to the first name input field i've done the same for last name and email this is our edit employee form and at the moment it's displaying employees existing data notice what happens when i delete everything from the first name field and tab out we see the required validation error the same is true for last name one two three is not a valid email address so when i tab out of this we see invalid email address and on the first name field we also have min length validation if i type just one character and tab out we see the minimum length validation error if i type two or more characters and then tab out the validation error disappears at the moment these validation error messages are displayed next to the input field itself but what if we want a summary of validation error messages that is a list of all these validation error messages to be displayed somewhere on the top or bottom of this form well for that we use this component validation summary as the name implies this component displays the summary of all validation errors on our edit employee form i have now included validation summary component with this notice the validation error messages are not only displayed next to the input field they are also displayed in a list at the top of the form now what if we want to customize these validation messages at the moment for the first name required field the validation message is the first name field is required now let's say we want to change this to something like first name must be provided this is easy notice from the intellisense all these validation attributes have got this property 
error message and using this we can provide our own custom error message. Notice now for the first name field we see our custom validation error message. That's it in this video. Thank you for listening.